Hey guys, I found a quick article on Quora. So the title is, Why are programmers so tight-lipped about assisting their fellow programmers with code? Uh, so you have this guy here, John Davies. I'll give him credit. He says, I, I've seen it a few times, but rarely he's been working in industry for a while. So he lists three reasons why. Number one, uh, young programmers believe that if they uh, share their knowledge, that will make them less valuable. I guess the thinking is that only they'll know about the code or that part of the code making them indispensable. But, but what, what they're doing, and as this guy points out, if you don't make yourself helpful and you become a black box in terms of the code you write, you're going to be considered not very good. The more you can help people around you, the more likely you will be highly valued. You become the person that people go to. So when you go work for a company, make yourself helpful to others. If you can help other developers make their jobs a little bit easier, I'm not saying write their code, but you know, if they have questions and if you can answer, answer if you have answers. Number two, some companies keep everyone so overworked that there is no time left to help. I've seen this in startups. When you're working 68, 60 to 80 hours a week, it's hard to find energy to be helpful. This is also true. That's the reality of startup life. In startups, um, you will likely be worked much harder than you would if you're working for an established business, but there's a potential chance of that big payoff if the company grows quite fast. It's a risk, though, because most startups fail, and a lot of times when you are working for startups, you're taking less pay than you would if you're working for an established business. So it's, it's a judgment call on your part whether or not to go work for a startup. But yes, that's reason number two why uh, developers might be tight-lipped, may not assist other people. They're just so busy. That's reasonable. And number three, um, he points out this one uh, story he has here. I find it interesting. One guy I used to help would thank me by saying, yeah, that's what I thought. Thanks for verifying. I quit helping him if he knew so much he didn't need my help. So yeah, if you don't show gratitude, uh, people are not going to want to help you. So if you do get help from a third party, from some other person, say, hey, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Some other person here just said, uh, short advice for number three, which I just talked about. Uh, just say, yeah, you're right. Instead of, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, feels much better for the people you are talking to. Yeah, without a doubt. One of the things I talk about in my mentoring program a lot, links below, is that it's very important if you want to advance in your career and if you want to get a job, you have to have good interpersonal skills, good communication skills. So because I found that some people in the mentoring program and, and, and some people in the mentoring program needed some work there, I put out the Lizard Wizard course, links below, which is the foundation of uh, interpersonal uh, soft skills, as they say. Anyway, yeah, those are the top three reasons why some programmers are tight-lipped vis-a-vis helping other programmers. But I'm telling you right now, the more useful you can be at your place of work, the more you can make people's lives easier, the more valuable you will be to them and the faster you rise in the ranks and the more easily you'll be able to ne negotiate higher salaries or get future jobs if you're a freelancer. Hope that helps. Bye-bye.